Hello students and welcome to services classes. My name is Ashmita and in today's class we are going to talk about an international scholarship for Indian students. Now today's class would be based on a particular scholarship and day by day we are going to discuss in each of the videos what kind of scholarships are available for Indian students. Like we are going to select 15 to 20 best international scholarships and then we are going to discuss. So in today's class, we are going to discuss only one of them. And uh, so let's start. Basically, a global education is a life-changing experience, which is why millions of students leave their shores every year to study abroad. However, the costs can be astronomical for many and the only way they can achieve their dream of studying abroad is through a scholarship. The good news here is that Indian students have now a host of options to choose from as international scholarships for Indian students are being offered by various governments and selected universities abroad. Today we are going to discuss about the Commonwealth Scholarship and Fellowship. This is a master's and PhD program in UK which is offered by the Commonwealth Scholarships Commission to deserving students from Commonwealth nations of which India is a member who have the potential to contribute significantly to their nations. Now, what are the eligibility criteria of the scholarship? The student has to be an Indian citizen. Secondly, English has to be the medium of education. Thirdly, you have to secure a minimum of 60% marks in social sciences and humanities or a minimum of 65% marks in the field of engineering, science, technology and agriculture. Preliminary interviews would be conducted by the Ministry of Human Resource Development for shortlisting the deserving candidates. What is the maximum scholarship amount for this uh, particular course? It's rupees 31,60,764 which covers your tuition fee, your economic class return, airfare, then your living expenses. Which are the fields of study that you can do for under the scholarship? It includes engineering and technology, PR and applied science, then agriculture is there, social sciences and humanities is there. You can fill up the application for this particular scholarship in the month of August. Now, uh, especially for the batches which are starting for the next academic year. Talking about the scholarship in details, uh, there is no specific scholarship and it basically depends on the deserving candidates. It is applicable to UK universities only. Next, we are going to know in details about this Commonwealth Scholarship. Commonwealth Scholarships are basically given to talented individuals with the potential to make a positive impact on the global stage. As part of the UK's ongoing commitment to the Commonwealth, each year around 800 students are given the chance to undertake the postgraduate degrees with UK universities. If you are from a Commonwealth country and believe you could make a difference to the world but you can't afford to fund your UK studies on your own, then you could be the ideal candidate for a Commonwealth Scholarship. What is this Commonwealth Scholarship? Commonwealth Scholarship scheme is aimed at students from across the Commonwealth who would not otherwise be able to afford to study in the UK. By funding the postgraduate studies in a range of different study formats, the scheme helps to support future innovators and leaders. This historic award is the UK's primary scholarship scheme which is focused on supporting British international development goals. It is designed to attract outstanding talent to UK universities whilst also supporting the sustainable development overseas. Now, who can apply to this uh, scholarship? To apply for a Commonwealth scholarship, you must be a citizen or permanent resident of a Commonwealth country. You will still be eligible if you are a refugee or British protected person. You also need to have an undergraduate honours degree of at least upper second class. If you wish to study a PhD, you will need an appropriate master's degree too. Finally, you must be unable to afford to study in the UK without the scholarship. Then only you are eligible to apply for it. The eligibility criteria for each type of scholarship and fellowship may vary. Now, there are Commonwealth PhD scholarships, 
there are commonwealth split side scholarships there are commonwealth master scholarships there are commonwealth shared scholarships there's uh, commonwealth distance learning scholarships then commonwealth phd scholarships and commonwealth medical fellowships commonwealth professional fellowships all commonwealth scholarships which are funded by the foreign commonwealth and development office that is fcdo are offered under six csc development teams now these themes include science and technology for development then strengthening the health systems and capacity then promoting the global prosperity then strengthening the global peace security and governance and also strengthening resilience and response to crisis access inclusion and opportunity to provide access inclusion and opportunity so there is no restriction on what you can study but the commonwealth scholarship commission gives priority to applicants whose studies are most relevant to their development criteria so that was the entire discussion for the scholarship program if you want to apply go over to the official website and do apply if you think you are eligible for it so that was the entire discussion for today's class we are going to meet once again in our next classes